innovators. Are they doing their best work? I work with highly intelligent executives who need to cultivate their ability to inspire, to persuade, to lead, to influence people. Today we're going to find out how to make innovators even better with Spitfire. There's great performance value to be taken from the Buddhist mindset of, you know what? Discomfort's a natural part of life. In the space of innovation specifically, how important it is to know how to fail successfully and how only the best innovators really and the best leaders know how to do that. I think it was Thomas Edison who said that he didn't fail 999 times to invent the light bulb. He had 999 times other uh, not quite light bulb outcomes. We kind of expect perfection of life and of ourselves at all times. And as soon as we feel any physical sensation of discomfort, of unpleasantness, then it must be a malfunction and something seriously wrong. If you've got the imposter syndrome, you're always trying to prepare your next sentence in a desperate attempt to sound smart. So yeah. you're not really listening. So one, that kills communication. And two, how can you have a high performance team if they don't really listen to each other? Yeah. Three, we've just seen it screws up your body language. Yeah. Body language is, now you know, thanks to the MIT studies, such a huge proportion of your communication. Well, one of my um, favorite things uh, to talk about and what I'm always asked since I, I tend to say I teach charisma and the ability to inspire and persuade and often engineers come to see me and they say, but I'm an introvert or I'm a hopeless case. And what I tell them is, listen, I'm one of the most socially inept people that you'll ever meet. But the great thing is that now, human interaction, charisma, the ability to inspire and lead, it's been broken down into a science. If you're willing to learn it, anyone can become charismatic. I'm not saying you're gonna become Bill Clinton. Or Steve Jobs. Or Steve Jobs. <laughs> um, but anyone can improve in spades. And you can learn it really fast, it's really fun, and you see the effects awfully quickly.